government of the Central African nation, Congo, descended into a bit of a chaos on Tuesday as rival political groups flung chairs and buckets on each other during a brawl. The recent incident has laid bare the tensions caused by the current president, Felix Shekidi's move to end an alliance with his predecessor. So the Congolese parliamentarians taking the fight literally to the streets. Joseph Kabila Kabange, Kabange is one of the strongest leaders in the country. It served as the president of the Democratic Republic of Congo from 2009 until 2019. And Tuesday's fight broke out in the main hall of the parliament building between the lawmakers and the supporters from the two camps, one of whom appeared to be wielding a machete. C'est-à-dire qu'il y a eu une main noire, il y a eu des caporaux de Kabila, alias Kanambe, qui ont été ici militarisés, qui ont eu de l'argent hier et qui ont amené des bachettes, qui ont amené des armes à feu à l'hémicycle même, à l'hémicycle même. C'est pourquoi nous, on ne peut pas laisser passer cette crise. Nous sommes au pouvoir et rien ne nous passera sous l'aide du président de la République. The earlier President Shisekedi announced his plan to disband his governing coalition with the allies of Kabila, while Kabila's side has said that it will be illegal to do so. The FCC ne se sentant nullement concerné par les annonces inconstitutionnelles du chef de l'État, le rejette en bloc. Il assure son ferme et soutien au Premier ministre et son gouvernement, ainsi qu'au bureau de l'Assemblée nationale et du Sénat. Standoff, of course, has raised fears of fresh instability in one of the largest nations in Africa. The Democratic Republic of Congo's economy has been very badly hit by the COVID-19 pandemic, and the troubled country's recent history has been marked by repeated civil wars and political upheavals. It's a okay, we can all assist here, it's indescriptible, surtout provenant des membres ou des députés élus du parti du président de la République. Si c'est ça l'état des droits, je regrette. Now, the growing tensions have also sparked some international concerns with the African Union calling on the country's leaders to work resolutely and sincerely for some kind of national harmony and to preserve peace and stability in the region. Mm -hmm.